Welcome to the Outlook 2010 mail merge system. This is in case you want to send out something like a newsletter or multiple emails so that it doesn't appear that it's coming, not just like the blind carbon copy, so it doesn't appear as though it's being sent to you and from you, by you, or whatever. It's just a single type email sent to one person or it'll appear as though it's being only sent to one person. All right, the first step we need to do is we click on our contacts down here. And I've only got two at the moment, so it may be different for you. Next, we need to click on File, Options, Advanced, and then click on Export. Next, we click on Export to a File. Select Microsoft Excel 97 to 2003. I found this to be the most effective and easiest to edit in case you want to. Click Next, select Contacts, click Next browse to where you want to call it and then I'm going to call this group one click next say finish it'll export it say OK and now what you've done is you've taken your entire contacts list and export it to uh, an Excel file here if you want since I've named it group, group one you can actually edit, edit it so we can actually go into our file open up Excel and now we have our accounts and now if you'd like you can actually sit here and edit it and delete the ones you want to be shown or don't want to be shown so you can have these custom groups styling another option to do if you're familiar with access is to create an access and just edit it out there but for everybody else I suggest using the XLS file it'll organize it much better for you uh, the next stage is to begin the mail mer merge so we click on mail merge and it says all contacts in current view we'll leave it as is because we're going to change that to use our XLS file that we just created and then under merge options we select form letters if it's not already selected and then merge to we want to merge to an email and then the message subject line whatever you want to call it for this we're going to call it newsletter layout test and say OK. All right, now what happens is you get a Word document opened up. In this option, it shows you that you can have envelopes, labels, to create if you want anything special, but we're going to create our email newsletter. So, first, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to select our recipients, who we're going to send this to. And you can click drop down or you can just click the, <laughs> click the button itself. So I want to select recipients and I want to use an existing list. You can also use it from Outlook if you want to sep select them separately, but you cannot select a group from Outlook. That's the one drawback. So let's go to our downloads. We have our Outlook contacts group. We open that up. We say OK. And just to make sure it imported it, we click Edit Recipient List and it shows us that we have added our recipients. Now we say OK. And let's begin designing our newsletter. So the first thing we're going to want to have is possibly a to or from. So let's say a greetings line. Dear Mr. So-and-so. OK, here's a greetings line. And then we might want an address block. And say OK. Uh, anything else you want to add, you click here and add it. The next thing Oh, you can also say preview results. So we say preview and it says dear so and so Gmail, Gmail preview results. All right again here, preview, preview. All right, next what we want to do is we want to go back to our home tab. Our home tab gives us the basic word layout options. And for this example, I'm going to say title. And in the title, I'm going to give it a header effect to it. Next, I'm going to say, okay, well, how, I, how do I want to lay this out? Usually you want it in columns or rows. The best thing to do for this is to go to Insert, Tab, and then click on the table and lay everything out in a table concept. So for this example, I'm going to use a 2x2 two two table. And then I'm going to say, okay, well, I want, some, I want an image here. All right, so let's add a clip art image, and we're going to use flowers. So I drag and drop the flowers in there. 
and then I'm gonna go well this flower I wanted to have a description so about this photo and then we put in text and I'm gonna use dummy text right now which if I go to lipsum.com we'll just grab some text out of nowhere and say copy back to it and this I wanted to have about this photo all right now on the next line I want to add in uh, let's say a shape <laughs> so add in a shape or better yet let's just add in some text art so let's paste it again or let's copy our text before copy paste and let's say we want to add in some text or a specialized text so we go to insert word art your text here more about flowers or flowers alright then that wraps up our layout let's close this and then what we need to do next is go back to our mailings and then under mailings we click finish and merge but before we do that let's make sure we don't see our border lines so I'm gonna click on this go to either right click or go to design and then I'm going to remove the borders or better yet add horizontal but I prefer to just remove the borders entirely no borders okay then hmm. actually one border okay so we have just a left border at the moment go to mailings and let's preview this alright so now our recipients will receive an email that looks like the following I can't always guarantee that the stylized text here will show up correctly it's best to actually create your custom text and then to add a text effect to it but we'll see how that turns out back to mailings click on finish and merge click on the drop down don't click finish and merge otherwise you'll get possibly a print or a fax something we want to do send email messages so we do that email address HTML and we say OK now down on the bottom here you see it's sending out mail and then what we're gonna do is we're going to log in and we've received our letter from Cho that's the email account we're using at the moment and there you go there's your email your newsletter however you want it laid out again like I said the best thing to use is tables and just to hide the borders okay we'll throw that away go back to this and you can save this if you want or create a new document prior to this so you don't have to actually create the document when you want to send the email you can actually create it prior to that and then when you want to send it you can just say well this is the document I want to use that was on the options when it said open. That wraps it up. Thank you very much for watching.